Welcome! Today we are going to talk about um, in a, our advanced setup. We have had a video before talking kind of about a beginner setup, but we're going to go into more comprehensive depth and go into price of what our advanced setup looks like now. So we're going to go over every piece of equipment you can see here individually and tell you guys the price and what it's for. And hopefully you guys will see the difference between uh, this advanced setup and the beginner setup we were talking about earlier. And so yeah, let's go. So here we have our monochrome camera, which is the ZWASI 1600 Mono. And uh, this camera, I believe it's about, it's a, a bit above $1,000. And it's one of the best out there for the price. And uh, this camera is our main camera. So this is our EFW from ZWO. It has about nine filters on the inside that you can use and we can electronically uh, rotate the filters to whichever one that we need. Here we have the telescope, which is the StellarView SVX130. It has a NF ratio of five with the reducer, of course. And um, yeah, this is our main refractor right now. And the field of view for this is, I believe, with a reducer about 655 millimeter, which is a pretty good focal length for most objects out there. So this here is a software Bisque Paramount Mighty Mount, and it's pretty awesome. I personally love the colors. This mount is about $7,500, and our full review is coming soon. This here is our off-axis guider. So we have a guiding camera here, which is the ZWASI 290 Mini which will guide uh, our mount. So uh, we have a off-axis guider here. So this is actually uh, sticking on the side here and there's a, a prism in there that lets a bit of light through so that our guide camera can pick up a star and guide with that star. This allows us to not have a guide scope uh, entirely. So we just use this OAG instead. So this here is our field flattener slash reducer and what it does is it gives us a little bit of a wider field of view and it also, most importantly, allows us to get pinpoint stars like on the edges of our frame. And here we have this insane moonlight nightcrawler uh, focuser slash rotator. So this actually pops out like this, there's a screen here, but we do everything through a computer anyway, so we don't actually care about the screen. But this uh, focuser here is absolutely insane. There is zero backlash. Um, it's, it's, I believe, the best in the world. So it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. And the price for this is above $3,000. So that's for sure a, a high quality focuser. So this here is the USB hub and one of the wires connects to the mount itself and then the rest of it we can use USB ports to plug in pretty much anything else that we, that we want or we need. And we also have this pole master here from QHY which will allow us to uh, achieve polar alignment extremely easily. So we use this one with both our beginner setup and this advanced setup. So we love this QHY pole master. Um, I don't think we can live without it sometimes and it's really great. We also added this, uh, this, um, you know, if in the future we want to add a guide scope or a finder scope to it, just to have it handy. And so everything you just saw on the mount here is connected to this battery. So we have a, an extension cord there and all the power goes to this battery. So it's a Jackery uh, battery. It is an Explorer 500. And with this battery, which is incredibly light, uh, we can uh, power this equipment all night, pretty much. So. It's really nice. There are a few different uh, ports here, such as the AC port, uh, the USB ports here, and a few more. And there's also a display that shows you exactly uh, how much battery you have left. So it's, it's amazing. Uh, I love this battery. So this is our solar panel. It also connects to our battery. So if we ever need to charge it, we can have it out in the daytime and it'll charge the battery, you know, and keep it good throughout the night. And if we ever have to sleep anywhere, it's great because we can leave it out the next morning and it will charge our battery during the daytime. Hopefully this explanation has been like, you know, really comprehensive for you guys. And it certainly is different from the beginners for sure because it's a little more pricey. But if you're a beginner, uh, don't be afraid. You can start like us with a modest equipment. We started with just a camera and tripod. 
then switch to a, a telescope that was pretty affordable too. So uh, go step by step. Progress. And maybe you know in five years or maybe eight years from now, you will also have uh, an advanced setup like this one, and you will see it's, it makes your life easier, but it's not needed to get crazy images. So we'll see you guys next time and clear skies. Bye.